<laughs> okay, so before I left, I looked at the map a little bit closer and I found a faster way out of here. So I'm not going back the same way I came. So hopefully this is not gonna take me as long to get out, hopefully less than an hour, which is super exciting. Uh, the problem is, is I tend to take wrong turns and get lost, but we're gonna, we're gonna hope for the best. That pretty much made my day. Like, so I'm gonna try to get to this spot really quick and fish rather than spend my time driving back roads. Alright guys, super excited I finally made it. It's been a kind of a drive. Kind of a little bit bumpy, but uh water's looking good. This is a spot I have been basically been waiting all weekend to get to. I was afraid it's Monday, I was afraid Saturday and Sunday would just be a little bit too busy and I didn't want to drive all the way out here and have to share the water, so. Yeah, it's not. So I fished uh some of the you know more common spots. Um Fishing was pretty good. I had a good time. It was great, but I've been waiting and waiting to come out here on Monday. So my plan today is to fish here, see what's like, and if it's uh, really good, I might spend one or two, maybe even three days. All right, so I still gotta go get my four weight, pack my five weight as a spare, uh, grab some snacks, make some lunch, and hit the trail, do a little bit of hiking, and kind of get away from this uh, the first axis here and see what's in this water. I'm excited. I can't wait, man. It's a drive. Woo! Finally glad to be here. Important to know the restrictions. Stoves are okay. So there we go. First look at the trail. So I'm just gonna walk down here. I don't know. Probably won't go this far because this is a little bit more remote than the other places. Plus well, I'm ready to fish. Been driving for like two hours. Hey bear. Hey bear. I haven't been here five minutes to see a black bear. Hey bear. He went up that trail right there. Gotta get down to the river. Where the fish are at. Keep an eye out for rattlesnakes.
You guys probably can't hear me, but you ask what I've been using. I call it my top shelf stone. Got two different types of drive by blend, dubbing. Gives it a nice little segmentation. Hackle, lots of legs. They dig it. trail I guess I could jump how you down there all right I've been hiking up and down but I'm definitely going there just gotta go down that trail to those trails that was and over there that looks just too too nice Oh, this is about the easiest trail I've had. Hey bear. Came back, jumped in the creek over there, washed off, um, feeling like a new man, got new clothes on, soaked off, cleaned off, got all the sweat off, um, gonna grab a beer, and start planning. Tomorrow is big day. What do we got in here? I'm gonna go with, what's the, another one of those Dirt Surfer IPAs, they're pretty good. I think I'm gonna go do it again, just go hike up a little bit further than uh, what I did today, probably where I climbed out, start there and go, you know, you really don't get to go far because you're climbing over rocks that are the size of freaking trucks and semis, but awesome fishery. Browns, rainbows, cutthroat, um, mostly on dries. I showed you the uh, top shelf stonefly that I've been throwing. It's uh, an amazing day. Can't wait to do it tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm gonna make some dinner. Um, rest. Look at that view. This is where I'm sleeping by night. This is my campground. Wyoming's awesome. All right, so dinner night's gonna be 
do a half of a can of Spam, some potatoes, and a can of corn. I did the Spam and the corn um, in Colorado. Somebody called it dog food, but <laughs> it's pretty tasty. So that's what it's going to be. Dog food, come on. <laughs> Tommy dudes.